when you have chronic pain, it is not the progression of whether it's tissue changes, changes in the brain. Like there's so many factors that go into chronic pain that it's often such a, an interwoven connected concept framework that we, we're not going to have one thing to untangle all of that. And so usually we are needing to make many different small changes, some bigger changes, maybe some small interventions, maybe some bigger interventions in order to get out of chronic pain long term. Now, some people may be able to do some bigger interventions like an adipose procedure, bone marrow, PRP procedure, whatever it is, and they might see, you know, some short term benefits from that. But if the other small changes aren't occurring, the things that you know that are going to address the nutrition, the lifestyle, the the supplementation, the mindset, the psychological uh, factors, the social connections, all these things that factor into our brain's perception of pain and therefore chronic pain, um, then it ends up uh, a lot of the times just being short lived, and the 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 pain comes back. And so some people, though, can get away with it if the uh, chronic pain is not overly significant, overly severe, hasn't been uh, overly long standing. But it's still pretty rare that this happens. And so we're always trying to find out, you know, what are the different things that we can implement and, and across how many different aspects of, you know, life can we implement these things to increase our odds that we are going to see, you know, changes in our chronic pain. 